Hello, my beautiful earth signs. How are you? It is B, and welcome to your mini monthlies. So this mini monthlies is going to be for July and August. I'm going to pull three cards for July, three cards for August, and then I'm going to go ahead and clarify a couple of those, and then I'm going to pull an individual card for each of the signs. Okay, Capricorns, Tauruses, and Virgos, what have you got coming up for the month of July? What's happening for the month of July? This reading will probably be 15, 20 minutes long. It's pretty quick, but it will be packed with information, okay? Earth signs, what have we got for you, earth signs? I suggest you listen to all signs and the general message as well because it's going to be very important. All right, Capricorns, Tauruses, and Virgos. Let's go ahead and pray over the deck. Cutting the deck. First card, second card, third card. All right. So what are your overall energies here for uh, the month of July? There we go. I think you can see all of them. First card is the Nine of Pentacles. So Earth sign, basically for you, there's a lot of accomplishment. You're feeling good. You may be isolated or you may feel like you just kind of want to be by yourself for a while. Perhaps you're in the garden, you're in the backyard, you're doing something to where you can truly commune with nature, with Mother Earth. You might be training a pet. Someone around you might be training a pet. There could be a need to focus on something like training. So you might be going through training, exams, anything like that could be happening. Um, this is falconry. This could also be the spirit of the falcon, as well as, as many of you know, this is the Atlanta Georgia card. Because <laughs> I think of the Atlanta Fal Atlanta Falcons when I when I see a falcon, because that's just what I associate it with. And there's a lot to be said with the type of messages that come through the cards for the readers themselves. Okay, so Earth sign, you've got a lot of that really good, uh, accomplished, um, you know feeling comfortable energy around you. You know, you might be traveling, you might be moving because we do have a little snail, so we gotta take into consideration that little snail does mean moving or like RVs or, uh, you know, homes on wheels, that type of thing. So um, that's really, really good energy for you to start out with. It's the first card. It means it's gonna color the rest of your month. It's great, uh, earth signs. So. The nine energy basically means that this is associated with some sort of foreign travel, foreign land, people, politics, a legal, a law, higher education, uh, looking at the bigger picture, instruction, training, maybe snake oil salesman. So this could have anything to do with that. Okay, let's go to the next. Oh, actually, the nines. Let's not forget the nines. The ninth month of course, is the month of September. So this could contain Virgos or Libras as well. Okay, what's the next card? The Seven of Swords. So as it relates to the Seven of, Seven of Swords, Earth sign, there is some sort of cheating, trickery, underhanded tactics going on here. Perhaps you've got to sneak away for a short period of time. Perhaps you are Double dipping, okay? Sometimes double dipping kind of comes in with this card. And it basically means that, you know, maybe you're doing work for a business at another business location that maybe you shouldn't be doing work for your other business or your other job at this other location. But that appears that this may be happening and, and you may not have a choice or sign. This just may happen this way. But this is the... Um, possibly leaving some things behind as well. Maybe you have to leave things behind. Maybe you have to say, you know what, I, I just don't have room. I don't have time to take this. I'm going to have to leave this behind. This could be packing up some of the um, things that you need to pack up, but leaving the rest. This looks to me like stealing. It really does. It looks like this person is like, everybody knows that there is seven swords that should be here. But this person is taking five of those swords, but leaving two. 
I mean, that doesn't even make any sense. So anyway, there's a reason why this is being done, but um, there is this energy coming through here for some reason, and they're going straight towards, straight towards this nine of pentacles, okay? So the seven energy is all about the seven energy of business partnerships, romantic partnerships. It is the house of Libra, equality, fairness, and justice. So there might be something regarding these two cards that is of great significance for you in this upcoming week. I'm sorry, in July and in August. I just did the weekly reading. I apologize. But it might even happen this week. Um, so that could be happening. But this is July, okay? So this is something happening in July that is very, very significant. Something about a circus going on here or a fair that's happening as well. Maybe maybe people are distracted, could have something to do with that, tiptoeing around. Um, but um, this could also be like a festival or a, a bazaar, I'm hearing. So maybe there's something about a bazaar. But that seven energy is that energy of equality, fairness, justice, business partnerships, romantic partnerships. It's also the month of July, okay? And that is Cancers and Leos. So there's something very significant happening in the month of July that's going to kind of color the month of July as it relates to possibly your independence or your accomplishments, okay? Someone's trying to get away with something. So I just want to make you aware of this. this is, I'm, for those of the earth signs that are watching this now, I mean, I'm glad you're watching it because I'm literally preparing you for this message is preparing you for this. So be on the lookout. Okay, so let's see what the third card is. The Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups comes in. This is a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio person. And they are offering something. They are, the, they are on their noble steed, so to speak. They're offering their love. They're offering their emotion. They're offering their kindness. But, Earth sign, they're offering it in the future. Okay. They have something they're prepared to offer to somebody in the future. I might clarify this one to see what, what, this, what this knight or who this knight is giving this offer to, okay? And it's interesting because this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio has their back turned to the cheating and the lying and the deception and the um, like sequestration because this can mean that someone has sequestered themselves or someone has, um, they don't want to be bothered by anything. That's what this looks like to me, earth sign. Okay, but somebody, somebody's getting an offer. Okay, let's see what this is really quick. I want to know what this offer is because this, yeah, this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio has their back turned to what's going on behind them. What are they more interested in? That's what I want to know. <clears throat> the Wheel of Fortune reversed. So they're offering something to someone to keep things stuck. To to inhibit things from moving forward. It's, it's going backwards. Okay, so... This could be an offer to go backwards towards something, to, to redo, replace, replay, reassess, re, reevaluate. That could be, but it could also be keeping things stuck. It could be. And this might have to do with someone's status and career. Might be related to a, uh, a Libra or a Scorpio person. Definitely picking that up here. Okay, so this is what your July is kind of looking like right now. Okay, now I'm not saying that people are going to cheat on you and, you know, you're stealing, somebody else stealing, whatever, blah, blah, blah. This may simply be that someone is just moving things around in the house. Maybe they're moving home. Maybe they want to be alone. Maybe they don't want to be in a relationship anymore, whatever it is. This could be what's happening here, but this could also be um someone is 
going from one job to another. That could be what this is. And maybe it's in the same field. So they're taking maybe intellectual property or they're taking their knowledge or their smarts to um, try out this, this new job or this other job where they've, they've gained, you know, a, a lot of knowledge. Okay, they're using the knowledge they gained at their old job to get the new job. I mean, that's, that's how it works sometimes. Okay, now we're going to get into, I'm going to remove this. We're going to get into August, or no, do I want to stay with the, no, that's what they're saying. Okay, let's just keep going here. What is going on in the month of August for my beautiful earth signs, Capricorns, Tauruses, and Virgos? You will get uh, the individual cards using my Astro Oracle deck. Earth signs, what have we got for you? For July and August. I'm sorry, August only. August only for my beautiful Earth signs. What have we got? Go ahead and put your prayers over the deck please this is for the month of august of 2021 cutting the deck first card second card third card all right my beautiful earth signs what have we got for you for the month of august justice justice so justice will be served in a situation as it relates to the Nine of Pentacles. And I've gone over it before. I'm not going to go over it again. But we got to make the connection because they're right next to one another. Okay. Everything I said about this card has to do with this. All right. Or this has to do with this card. So the justice is coming in. This could also be Libra energy as well. It is an 11 so this is the 11th month, which would be the Scorpio month, November. So Scorpio and Sages may also have something to do with this. Sag energy de definitely with the nine there, okay? But the 11 is also portal energy. So there is some sort of portal energy coming in. I really feel for some earth signs out there, you might be getting a divorce and you're going to finally be on your own. That could be. This could also be some sort of case in a uh, court of law. This could be the Department of Justice. Could be. Just to be honest with you, I mean, this is fairness. This is using the sword of truth in order to rebalance the scales. That is what that is. Okay. This is like a physical justice. It's not really karmic. It's not really spiritual. This is just straight on physical justice. Okay. What is going on with the next card? Temperance. Here's the Sag. <clears throat> the mixing and the matching earth sign. The needing to find the balance, uh, putting thesis and antithesis together to make synthesis, uh, feeling the healing regarding a situation. Are you healing from someone who cheated on you? Are you healing from a situation that someone was very deceptive or uh, they were very coercive or they were very tricky, sneaky, or sign? Is that you? Or is that them? It is temperance. This does have to do with the sign of Sagittarius. So this is about foreign people, foreign lands, people, politics, legal law, the occult, higher education, legal law. There it is. Higher education, looking at the bigger picture. Snake oil salesman. That's definitely a snake oil salesman right there. Something about salesman might be coming up for you, earth sign. So be aware of that. 
watch out for that. Let me look at this closer. There is some sort of an enlightenment coming in, earth sign, regarding all of this as well. Putting your toe in the water regarding something. Now, for some earth signs out there, this definitely could be cheating. You know, giving your love to somebody else or somebody else giving their love to somebody else. Like there's a cheating energy associated with this. Um, you know, that's a, your personal situation. If it's happened, it's already happened. Okay. Okay. But um, there is rainbow energy here as well. So the rainbow, if we look at it from a biblical perspective, is it's the end of the storm. It's the end of the 40 days and 40 nights. Um, the rainbow comes out. People leave the ark. You know, they the animals leave. They procreate. All of that. So that is like the creation energy. And then you've got the rainbow that signifies the LGBTQ community. So there might be something going on here. Uh, as it relates to that regarding the um, the Seven of Swords, okay? This is a 14, and the 14 breaks down to a 5. So if we look at the 5 energy with, with the way that we would from a positive perspective, it's all about modification changes and having the grace to do so okay she's very very graceful she's changing things she's synthesizing things she's look she's mixing and matching and that is five energy absolutely but then you also have the five energy that you know has the destruction the change the the competition the conflict may be caused by this seven energy up here Okay, so just be aware of that. But but this is what's kind of going right going on right now in your month of August. And your month of August right now looks really, really good. Okay, you've got two major arcanas out of three. Basically means 66% of your month of August is faded. Okay, that's what that means. What is the third card? The fool. I'm sorry, 100% of your August is faded. The fool, enthusiasm, um, naivete, uh, excitement, newness at the beginning, uh, wanting to launch something new, wanting to start a new job, wanting to, you know, um, be free, be independent, be liberated. Okay. And it does appear he is looking up at the Knight of Cups. So this may be being free of a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio person, or perhaps while you're embarking on this new beginning earth sign, your eye is on this Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio because they are the one that, you know, you might not be with anybody right now. You're at the beginning, maybe you've got a new job, maybe you've got to travel, whatever, because travel is here definitely. Maybe it's related to a contract. You've got to, you know, keep up with the contract. But the thing about it is, it's like, you know, your eye is on this love, you know, back in the month of July. So maybe you're, if you're dating a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio person, you're letting them know that maybe you'll be back at the end of August. That's possible. Because it looks like the travel starts in the middle of August. And the contract is signed at the beginning of August. Now, that's not going to be for everybody. This is just the story I'm picking up here. Very, very interesting. All right. So let's see here. I want to know. I want to know why justice is here. That's what I really want to know. Or why is the why is the fool looking up at the Knight of Cups? Let's do both. Okay, let's go ahead and pray over the deck. Cutting the deck. 
this is why justice is here and this is why the fool is here. Or why the fool is looking up at the Knight of Cups. Justice is here because of the Nine of Swords. Backfire. Something backfires. Sickness, illness, paleness. Um, dude, this girl looks like she's really, really sick. I mean, look at her. She looks like she's pale. She has no energy. She's just too much of all of these Ace of Swords are coming through. It's like truth, 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 truth. It's like it's all over the place and and someone can't take it anymore. It's like somebody is being bombarded by the truth, either for the positive or the negative. But it's definitely here and that's why justice is here. Okay. So why is this fool looking up at this Knight of Cups? The King of Swords. I believe that the reason why the fool is looking up at the Knight of Cups is because they bring some sense of stability, uh, intellectualism, knowledge, education, uh, information, definite information. If you got to look there, he's got the the hawk or whatever it is, the bird that that flies the condor. I can't remember what it is, but what they used back then, but to um, send messages, okay? Definitely sending messages back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I think what's happening here is, Earth sign, you might be feeling a newness or a sense of elation because this Knight of Cups or even this Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra person is sending information back and forth that's helping you, okay? Whether it's job, whether it's personal, whatever it is, all right? I'm going to move this up a little bit. We're going to go ahead and pull the cards now for each of the individual signs and what other general energies you might be dealing with as part of an overall theme for the month of July and August. All right, what theme is are the Capricorns dealing with? What theme is the Capricorn people dealing with or are dealing with? What themes are the Capricorns dealing with? There we go. What themes are they dealing with? What theme will they deal with? July and August, please pray over the deck. Cutting the deck. Capricorn, your theme is the sun. The sun. It's a beautiful Capricorn. The one thing we have to remember, though, is it's all of these, all of these components within this. So, Capricorn, you're revealing this information about somebody else, or someone is revealing this information about you. Okay? The sun is life force energy. Perhaps you feel alive, you feel new, you feel like there's a new beginning, you feel full of life force energy. For others of you out there, you're illuminating the cheating, the lying, the deception. Things are starting to backfire on people. Justice will be served. Okay, that could be. For others of you out there, the sun um, does rule Leo. So a Leo person might be of great significance for you here as well, Capricorn. What do we have going on as it relates to the beautiful Tauruses? Taurus, what's up with you? Whoa. Okay, Taurus, this popped out. Engagement. So, wow, Taurus, uh, an engagement. So, somebody's getting engaged. You're getting engaged. Uh, definitely could be coming up here. I think that somebody left a cheating scenario because someone just didn't want to be in a relationship, but now someone is um, is saying, you know what, I deserve better. Uh, I am going to give my love to someone else. And perhaps that's this person or even this person. 
So Taurus, this could be between a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Even a Sag. So there's an engagement. This could also be a speaking engagement, Taurus, that you're going to have to attend. Um, this could be engaging with others as well regarding these themes. So you're going to be going through a lot of engagement. You're going to be getting people involved. You're going to be activating people. You're going to be really engaged in this particular type of energy. Okay, but you could also be getting engaged. You might be getting proposed to. Okay. Interesting, Taurus. All right, let's see what's going on with the Geminis. I'm sorry. Virgos, I keep just going down the line. I have to remember I'm on the earth elements. Virgos, what do we got for you, Virgos? Virgo, the talk. You're about to have the talk, Virgo. So someone might be having the talk with you or you might be having the talk with them, okay? It may have something to do with someone wanting to be on their own again. Um, someone, you know, I'm sorry, I'm just going to say it, all right, uh, Virgo, but this is a narcissist. And let me tell you why that is. What a narcissist does is a narcissist gets love from one person, depletes them, and then goes back to the other person. And then once they give all their love to that person, then they go back to the other person, deplete them, and then they go back to the other person. It's like, basically, Virgo, what happens is, is someone gets the energy they need from someone else in order to function at work, in order to function in whatever. They get all this unconditional love. And what happens is that the ex or whatever, the other you know person, uh, they basically feel that this, uh, that this person is getting all this attention, all this love, and so on and so forth. So the narcissist comes back in, okay? Usually you've got an apath, an empath, and a narcissist. So once the narcissist feels like someone else is giving their ex love, they come back again like, oh, I love you so much. Uh, here's, I love, please be with me. And then boom, they fall for it. But then they just get stuck. Okay. So Virgo, you might be going through some sort of talk with someone about this, or this might be happening to you. Um, it might be happening to you. You might be making it happen to other people. You may like you might be the narcissist. Um, someone else that maybe you're dealing with will be the narcissist. Or there's a third party outside of you that is the narcissist. So maybe you're dating somebody now and say that they're an apath and you're an empath. Well, you're giving this apath a bunch of love and they're accepting it, accepting it, accepting it. They're starting to, you know, shine a little bit. Well, the narcissist is going to pick that up and try to take that person away from you until he gets sick of that person again and, and you know, throws her back for you to, you know, fill up again with, uh, I don't know, gasoline, <laughs> okay? And I don't mean that in, it's like a car, right? You know, you fill up the car with gasoline or electricity or whatever. You get them revved up again. So that's what this is. This is a vicious cycle, and I think it's interesting, Earth sign, because... Uh, in the month of July, there is something here where someone is giving, offering something to a reversed wheel of fortune, which basically means it's like this, it's like this cycle needs to stop. This might be a narcissistic cycle for some of you. There needs to be a level of consistency. There needs to be a level of honesty in a situation as well. Okay. Okay. That could be, you might have a relationship with someone that's push-pull, 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 okay? I want to be alone. No, why aren't you paying enough attention to me? It's that type of weird kind of psychological type of behavior. And that's right. That's why justice is here. You're sick of it. You're like, I don't even know if I'm coming or if I'm going. 
That's where this talk is coming from. You know, maybe I should be honest with myself. Maybe I should free myself from this, this weird back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Okay? There you go, Earth Signs. I hope that you like this reading for July and August. This was your mini monthly. I wish you the best. Take care of yourselves. Much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.